Hey guys, welcome back to Ami's Cookies. I hope you all are doing good. So today, let us learn how to make soft and spongy rasgulla or rasgulla. And we're going to make this recipe without maida. It's really soft and spongy and juicy. It's very easy to make. This Raksha Bandhan make this lovely sweet treat. So let's quickly see how to make this recipe. Into a vessel, take 2 litres of full cream milk. Keep stirring the milk. And allow it to boil. Once it starts boiling, add 3 to 4 tablespoons of lemon juice mixed in 3 tablespoons of water and nicely mix it together. Slowly you will see the milk will start to curdle. Now you can see that the cream and the water has separated. Now you can switch off the flame. And strain the paneer. So you can place a cotton cloth or a muslin cloth. And strain the mixture. Once the paneer is separated, add one or two glasses of water so that the soreness from the lemon juice goes off and nicely squeeze off the excess water. And allow it to rest for one to two hours. After one hour, you can open it and you will see nice, soft and moist paneer. I'm going to transfer it into a plate. And now we need to knead this. This is the most important step guys, to get soft and spongy rasgulla. Now using your palm, nicely knead the paneer for at least 10 to 12 minutes. After kneading it for 10 to 12 minutes, you can see it has become nice and soft. Now you can take a small piece and make it into a ball. So when you make these uh, balls, make sure that there are no cracks. It should be nice and smooth. I'm going to make all the balls. So put in mind this will double in size. So make the balls accordingly. Now into a vessel add 2 cups of sugar. 
and 7 cups of water add in 3 to 4 cardamom and nicely mix it together allow this mixture to boil until the sugar dissolves completely Now add in a teaspoon of rose syrup. This is totally optional. Now cook this for around 5 to 7 minutes. Put in mind you just need a watery sugar syrup. You do not need a sticky sugar syrup. Now add in all the rasgullas and cook it for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of cooking, the rasgullas will double in size. Now here's a small tip to get nice and spongy rasgulla. This is totally optional but you can try this. So into a bowl add some ice cubes and some cold water and add in the cooked rasgulla. and allow it to rest for just 2 to 3 minutes. This will make the rasgulla nice and spongy and also it will hold the shape. Now after 2 to 3 minutes, I am going to remove the rasgullas from the cold water. Now pour the sugar syrup and refrigerate it for at least 2 hours and that's it, yummy rasgullas are ready to serve. Make sure you serve it nice and cold, they are really spongy and it will literally melt in your mouth it's very tasty guys it's very very easy to make you guys should definitely try this recipe if you like this recipe do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for all the detailed measurements do check out the description box also follow me on Instagram and Facebook I will leave the link in the description box below thank you